The internet and social media is currently full of videos of Muslim apologists attacking the credibility of the New Testament, questioning the validity of the Christian Bible. But today, I'm here to shut down these arguments once and for all. And I will use logical human reasoning to speak to your rational mind. So for a moment, put down your guard, open your mind, and for once, think for yourself rather than being a brainwashed robot. So let me begin by asking you this question. Do you believe in the existence of God or an entity or a superpower? If your answer is yes, then this video is for you. So there are arguments against the existence of God and these arguments are valid based on logical human reasoning starting from the lack of empirical evidence to the most common question. If God exists, why is there pain, suffering and poverty in this world? So just because these arguments exist, do they stop you from believing in God? How many of you have actually met with God? How many of you have actually audibly heard from God? But you still believe in God. If you are a true seeker of God, you can have an empirical and a tangible experience with the Almighty. And I'm not talking about goosebumps or birds tweeting. I'm talking about an actual one-on-one -on -one revelation from God, like the way that Paul experienced during biblical times and the way that I experienced in my life. So just because there are some seemingly logical and valid arguments against the existence of God. It doesn't mean that there isn't a God. And just because there are some seemingly logical and valid arguments against the credibility and the reliability of the Christian Bible, it doesn't mean that the Christian Bible is not reliable. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 says that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it is useful for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting and training in righteousness. God uses it to prepare and equip His people for every good work. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 12 says, You are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. In Luke chapter 24, verse 48 and 49, Jesus says, You are my witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. So stop being offensively impolite and ill-mannered by attacking the reliability of the Christian Bible. Because I am a witness both for the Christian Bible and for the Almighty God. I am alive today only because of the name of Jesus. And if it wasn't for God and the Christian Bible, I would have been dead in 1994. Want to know more about what happened to me in 1994? Click on the video in the description to all my Christian brothers and sisters across the world. Keep shining as a light for God wherever you are. And don't be deterred by the attacks and the mockery coming from Satan. Because Jesus Christ is coming back for those who are waiting for Him. And His second coming will prove the reliability of the Christian Bible.